I hope you're prepared for the next 10 minutes for me to geek the hell out when it comes to vintage bubbles and the like. This is between 150 days of winter. You get this view. It's been an incredible day. Thank you all for everybody. I am in a little village called Taninj and more specifically I'm in a place called Taninj Telekabin which is seems to be a, like a dechettery for old um, bubbles for ski resorts oh and also chairs as well you could look at it and go it's just a pile of junk or you could look at it and go oh my god this is absolutely incredible yeah the the they've got old stuff they've got fairly new stuff let me give you a walk around because some of this some of this stuff is brilliant okay so please excuse the noise there is some uh, road works going on on this uh, road opposite and subsequently uh, there are lorries going past all the time uh, we're gonna have a walk around here I, I am to say the least just gonna be saying how you say, saying what I see okay if anyone who's watching this recognizes any of these bubbles please drop it down in the comments below I would love to have your input behind me you can see we've got every type of old chairlift you can imagine make a great thing for somebody's garden and uh, boy uh, there were a lot of them of course what comes to mind this big old yellow wheel um, reminds me very much of uh, Moonraker when Jaws goes and stops the wheel to uh, stop the cable car yeah I'm a film geek this is a very common use for we've got Le Buvette Bar à Bouillon which has got a signage on it for these bubbles we've got first time I came to Courchevel again these were the bubbles everywhere this is back in the 90s so next time you're bitching about how how the current Verdun is uh, too small or whatever try getting four people into that yeah exactly we've got this very I think this is slightly more older I'm gonna say the with a with, with, with like a wooden outlay on it and the old sliding doors and of course by the looks of the sticker inside it's German so it's either Swiss or German uh, Jos Baumann Muheim okay so we've got something a bit newer we've got a set of Zermatt uh, bubbles in green of course these have already been fitted for somebody's like restaurant they've now got a table inside them which I guess you know this is where most of these things go out I don't know where to turn Every, everywhere I turn I want to think. okay well here's one that immediately uh, uh, comes to mind if you remember my uh, video that I did about vintage uh, snow cats uh, we came across two of these these are Arctic cats um, and here is another one um, I can't I'd love to see what was uh, what the VIN number on this is but I don't think I can because it's uh, inside this bubble which again is uh, another cool bit when we move around we'll have a look at this but again an, an, uh, an amazingly cool Articat I, I almost missed it but it's just it's just like one side panel and this is from the Grand Monte cable car my god that would look amazing on someone's wall this guy looks like he's come from Gardiner School wherever that is comments down below again this wonderful like circular polished metal that's great on one side we've got three company or six company on Vanoise 
I was gonna say this looks like Le Plan. So if there are any more film buffs out there, this big old orange thing reminds me very much of the bubbles they had in Where Eagles Dare. So we got this big guy from Feisch Eggishorn. This is a, this is a big old brute. Vajane, Vajayje, and finally at the end we have these that almost look like streamliner um, caravans. Big old teleferiques and of course right at the top there we have a painted one that I'm going to say Austrian but again these ones here look pretty cool if I can get past all the we put it down here there's a Pinaferina sticker on it they really were designed by Pinaferina which is why they look so uh, actually quite cool they've got that like look on them you see I'm geeking out I am literally just geeking out and we've only gone halfway around the yard this is gonna have to be like a 20 minute video I don't know okay So our outer cat there is surrounded by what looks like a massive great teleferique. Um, I'm going to say that that almost looked, that could be like the, the, the tram that used to go up to the, to, to the Aguida Midi. Again, have no idea. And on top we have a couple more metal bubbles again. And of course, when you see old chairlifts like this, which have got like zero security on them. Well, no, sorry, I say they've got zero security. We've got a tiny little bit of wood across there. But I mean, oh, and a little bit of canvas so you don't get snowy. <sighs> oh, should be around in that time. The bubble here. Lendank. Dank. And this was from Link Mitch. Now, for me, interesting, you've got this type of bubble here with two chairs facing one direction, okay? I would have thought they would have faced inwards, but hey, what do I know? I completely, uh, this, this old yellow bubble behind me, I completely overlooked it when I saw it initially. Uh, then I noticed that um, it's got wheels. And it's got a steering wheel. So it is a very, very, very mobile bubble, if you like. And of course, where do you go to get your best sunglasses? Uh, well, nowadays you don't go to Ray-Ban because their quality is absolutely crap since um, Luxottica took them over. But hey, Bosch and Loam, that's a really cool bubble so not just you know what it's not this is the, these are all little pieces of history you know from ski resorts all around the world and they've all ended up here for some reason this thing here again wouldn't work too well nowadays because people are a bit more like a chunky yeah this is designed for two very thin people smoking and swinging swinging are prohibited please do not throw objects out of uh, do not lean against the door. It's a complete and utter history lesson. We've got this wonderful bubble from Sea Bolden up. Somebody's repainted this green guy. Just 
fascinating. If you think that is good, wait till you have a look at this. I've just been given a key for uh, uh, like another location, which is not like open to everyone's view. So we've got this incredible old, judging by the Jägermeister sticker on that, I would say this is from Austria. What have we got? We've got This type of egg is a very standard one. This is when I first came to Courchevel, this was the standard egg. Uh, what is this? Uh, what are we looking at? Okay, Mont Blanc. That is a really old, I presume it would have had glass in this, of course. We've got another egg here. This is, I guess, a two-person stand-up bubble. We've got a, a bumper car in here. That's really, really uh, quite cool. This, though, is, didn't really see it on the way in, but this is an almost clear bubble. I have no idea where this one came from. And again, going back in time, it seemed that health and safety maybe wasn't the greatest of things. a standard Puma egg. And actually, while I'm looking at this, of course, the, the ski geek in me as well is looking along here, and there are some wonderful old skis as well. Excuse me, for, excuse me, because I know probably less than you guys do. Uh, I'm looking for stickers that tell me where stuff came from. Um, but a judge, looking at this, this looks older. Uh, and of course, uh, of course, on top, of course, we have a, an Air France Concorde. Okay. Uh, minor note, uh, I flew on Concorde when I was young. Uh, and of course, then we have down here, we have this range of, I presume, if you want to borrow, rent these, this is why they're wrapped up. But again, this cabin, it says from Anzer on the side. Again, I have no idea. You've got some nice old peace, uh, peace signs as well. Um, and again, these cabins here, uh, this nice old cabin. And of course, for me, you go and look at and again, a great collection of old skis. If you ever complain that your skis are not wide enough, imagine that. This one up here with this gentleman wearing a football helmet, I, I'm gonna say 60s. I remember seeing these up in Courchevel. This omission is not involuntary. And of course, this one that is with a red cross on it, which is again uh, a teeny tiny bit rusty, but uh, just when I thought I had spent the last half hour geeking out over here, Stefan, who has been absolutely amazing, has just told me they've got another yard. So we are now going to go and look at that one. So of course, if one amazing yard full of bubbles isn't enough, we've got a second one for you. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. I mean, let's go around and just have a look at some of uh, the more interesting ones because behind here, well, we can see, uh, we can see immediately an old Courcheval bubble. Mijev, uh I'm sure there's a technical term for these like six man bubbles, but anyway, it's stuff like this that, uh, that uh, excites me. Do you remember that big yellow one I showed you earlier? Well, this is its red cousin. 
and this guy is from Mijev. This wonderful old telecabine from Seilbahn. Again, oh, this one though. For me, just looking at the first couple of letters, Brev. It's the old Breville tram from Chamonix, which, oh my Lord. That is, well, for me at least, pretty special. Of course, if you want your, you can have your Val d'Isère bubble, you can have your Leger bubble, or you can have your Mijev bubble, or even you can have these two old bubbles from Le Minuire. I'm probably thinking that could be Le Mas, the old Le Mas bubble. Could well be. And of course, here we have some Chamonix bubbles. Again, you know what? It's not so much buying one of these things, it's actually getting it shipped. Because these are, you need somebody with a flatbed to deliver them. Okay, uh, I don't know the individual price. However, it's once you bought it, you've got to take it home. And that's where it gets a bit difficult. So we've got some, some from the Pyrenees there, from Teen, Leger, Matterhorn Express. These wonderful old, these old, old Mont Blanc bubbles, Brevent. Just absolutely incredible. And it goes on for miles. Again, a fairly new bubble with a great hard board there and of course we saw part of this in the other one that's the complete it's from the Grand Monte I can't believe people throw this stuff away and again another another one from Chamonix which makes sense I am absolutely exhausted I hope you have enjoyed this little look back into the past. Click the old subscribe button to say thank you. Click the like button. If you know anything about any of these bubbles, please, please leave me a comment because I would love to know some more about the, the various styles, etc. And on that, I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.